I think the future may very well include that some people or, or many of us continue to eat meat, but the growth of food will be vegetarian. Right? Because we can grow vegetarian food, we can grow food from, from plants, we can grow food in vertical farms, we can grow food from cultured meat, which is not very healthy right now, but improving. Right? Uh, I think what has to stop is that we cultivate, we cultivate cheap meat and we send it to China to feed hundreds of millions of people in return for having a huge climate problem. Right? This is just plain wrong. So to me, this is, I'm not a vegetarian. Uh, I don't, you know, I, I try to eat less meat. I think the development is quite clear. We're going to eat less cheap meat. We're going to spend more money on good meat <laughs> and good farming. And we're going to develop alternatives for protein. We have to. I mean, we're going to grow to 10 billion people uh, in, in the next 20, 30 years, right? So how do we feed them? Well, we have to create alternatives for protein and we have to be much smarter with farming and we have to change the food industry to stop poisoning us with what they put in the food. Right? And we have to stop this story of saying that if you eat more because you have more money, you eat more, you die because you're just obese. You know? I mean, the real problem today with food is more people die from obesity, from too much, right, than from hunger. But clearly, we have to have a more balanced view of how we eat, how we grow things, what we eat. If you want to eat meat, maybe it will cost you $100 to pay the real price, like it does already here in Switzerland, you know. Um, and maybe because of that, you will have plant-based meat that will be $10, you know, for the whole dinner. Um, and I think this is going to be good. So it's not, it's not a choice of meat or no meat, you know, it's basically we have to look for other ways of uh, dealing with food.